Hey, what's up guys? Corey here with Android Community, and here we have the uh, Nexus 7, and I just want to show you guys a, a few uh, of the new features here with the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. As you guys know, this is rolling out now, and will also be available on your Nexus 10 and Nexus 4 when you get it. But uh, there's definitely some changes um, specific to tablets and phones, but for now this kind of a little bit of a look at the home screen widgets or the lock screen widgets, the multiple user accounts, and then some gesture typing. So um, as you can see here, um, we're on the lock screen. Obviously the clock's a little bit different. They've gone with this new theme where the, the front you know, is bold. Um, you might like it. I don't know if I'm really a fan. But if you slide over, you're instantly right there into my camera or my calendar. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But I'm on my calendar now, so you can just instantly slide back over. Or you can go over again. And go into add here, and you can add, you know, Gmail and a clock and sound search, and then developers will be able to tap into this as well. So uh, they can have, you know, whatever they'd like, their own home screen widgets or lock screen widgets added to, you know, the options. But as you can see here, actually I hit back on that and it went right into uh, the phone or the tablet. I'm not sure if that should be happening. Go ahead and unlock as usual, and you go right in here, or the multiple, you know, users. Let's go ahead and landscape mode this for you. When you go into multiple users here, you can see you have to unlock, you can still do the widgets here in landscape, but if I go ahead and tap this, as you'll see here, it gives it a second and it loads the new user account. So that's the multiple user accounts here. It's new with Android 4.2. I can go back to my own and it's got you know my widget that I've chose, my lock screen, my home screen, everything obviously, my wallpaper, and go back into this. Go in there, there's a couple different things, sound search. You're one of those people that like to look up songs and whatnot. So it's, it's a nice little system here to just simply flip through the new lock screen widgets um, and then go ahead and unlock. So you come in here and here's just a standard you know, user interface. And obviously the, the clock's a little bit different and then the, the pull down notification bar is a little bit different with Android 4.2 with the quick settings and what have you. But real quickly here, just to go back, show you how fast it is. Tap into my user. It is kind of a little delay, but nothing too bad. Sitting on the couch, you know, it'd be quick and easy, not too bad. And overall, something I think um, many will probably get really used to as time goes on. Another thing you can do is slide down here and you tap on your user. It'll instantly go back to the lock screen for you to change users. So that again here, I'll show you again. You slide down like always with the notification bar here with Android. But on tablets, now if you slide down on the right side, you get quick settings with brightness and settings and go right into your main settings and everything else. And then from there, as you can see here, right there is users. When you tap on users, you come in, got guests, other users. Um, currently, it shows you at the top, the person signed in, and then obviously you can come over here and delete that guest and delete settings. Since this is the guest account, I can't actually add any. Um, think of it almost as the administrator account for you know maybe a PC or what have you. So I come back over to the main account and go back into settings. Go to users. I can come in here and up there at the top is add user. If you saw that, when you add user, it says after you create a new user, that person needs to go through the setup process, which makes sense. You can sign into your own personal Gmail, your own account for everything on your own. Now, when you install an app and update it, it updates across all versions on the device. But if you install a game on one account and then install on another account, it actually takes up twice the space. So it's really interesting. It'll update universally throughout the tablet. But that's definitely bad for something like this 8 gig Nexus 7. If I get a game like, uh, you know, Asphalt 7 or something that's 1 gig, and then I do it on another account, that's 2 gigs. So, um, from what I understand, at least, that's definitely something that needs to be addressed as far as the storage level is concerned. But um, then at the same time, if I update it, it'll be updated with the most up-to-date version on the Play Store across all accounts on the, uh, you know, the device. So, that's kind of neat. Another new thing here is the clock. Go in there, and here's the clock. And obviously you got that big bold look like we talked about, but a new thing they've done is they've added a timer as well as, you know, a stopwatch. So, our stopwatch and timer. You can go ahead and click that to go, you know, and go through different laps. You can click this for laps or just hit it to stop. So that's kind of neat. And then obviously you can toggle those up top. And then as well with the clock, come in here and you can set alarms. 
And the alarms are a little different here. It's a completely new design with the, uh, the layout. You got a red uh, user interface right here, and then you can simply swipe to clear any of your previous alarms. So uh, a lot of those, you know, this is swipe to clear is uh, in Gmail and in multiple things here with Android 4.2. So then from here, obviously, you just go ahead and make a quick alarm, hit AM, hit OK, and you're done. You can choose all the days. Instead of sliding up and down through all the numbers like before, this is definitely a much easier solution. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the user interface, but it's definitely easier. So it kind of goes both ways there on that. But then Gmail, you know, I'm not going to get into that too much because it's my own personal Gmail. And uh, then we have some gesture typing. This is also a new kind of like swipe. I'm sure you've seen plenty of this already. But uh, Google's introduced a gesture-based typing where you just slide the finger. So, you know, you go this. And as you can see, as you start to type, it shows you the word. If you can see that on screen, this is a test. So if you're typing a big long word and you start to make a mistake, it'll kind of give you a preview of what you're writing. If you know it's wrong, go ahead and just hit back and you're done for and get rid of that. So that's kind of nice. The gesture typing, unlike swipe, if there's a word like tomorrow or something with two letters, you know, you don't have to kind of squiggle your finger. It just guesses for you. So the guessing and uh, predicting prediction engine is actually quite nice. And obviously the camera's a bit different here. This being, you know, the Nexus 7, there's not much of a camera as far as the actual camera app, but I'll go ahead and show you anyways. So here's the camera, front facing camera. Now if you push and hold, you can toggle through multiple settings on the camera. We'll get into this more on a phone because it's definitely more realistic on a phone. I'm mean, not technically supposed to, for the most part, use the camera on the Nexus 7. That's a little tweak there by Paul O'Brien. But uh, So here's Android 4.2. You can see here the usual notifications. It shows that alarm. I can go ahead and clear that. Then over to the right side is the quick settings. Come in there. Android 4.2, Jelly Bean. That was just a quick look here at, at the, the different things here. So far, I really like the uh, the lock screen uh, widgets. Uh, hopefully, we see more interaction from developers on this to where we can actually do a lot of cool things. I know, you know like even having navigation maps right here on the lock screen or your music. Obviously, we can kind of do music playing already with the lock screen, but there's a lot of things that can be integrated into lock screen widgets that would be quite neat to see in the future. And uh, maybe hopefully we can get a, a little bit quicker of a, a switch here between the different user accounts and what have you. And then one more thing here. You're wondering where Google Now is with Android 4.2. There's a little quick shortcut right down here to get to Google Now. Go ahead and slide up, unlocks right into Google Now, and you are ready to rock. So, a couple nice changes there from Google. And this is just kind of a quick video showing you some of the multiple features with the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, guys.